Hi, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about a show on TNT called Falling Skies. Um, I want to thank my subscribers at a QA and a a little while ago and they are like, Trev, have you seen Falling Skies? And uh, up until that I had not, um, but they knew a couple things about me. They knew I liked, you know, apocalypse type stories, um, action, as well as, you know, alien type, um, you know, invasion stuff. So they recommended it to me, not just one, but several people, probably about four or five people. So when I saw about four or five people recommending the same show, I was like, huh, I probably got to check this out. So I looked up the schedule and everything and found out when season two starts. And it turns out season two starts this Sunday, which is June, let me see, 16th? think so. Yeah, June 16th, pretty sure. Um, and so it's going to be a two-hour season premiere for season two. So what I did is, is I'm going back and I'm watching all of season one and just wanted to get my thoughts on the show so far. I've seen the first um, three or four episodes, I think about halfway through the fourth episode. And what I have to say about the show so far is it's really good. It's really, really good. Uh, I like it a lot. You know, when I first heard about it, I was a little skeptical because I thought, well, it's going to be an alien invasion show. And, you know, a lot of that stuff, you know, it's really hard for them to do that on a budget of like a TV series because a lot of it requires CG and CG can get expensive and effects and all that stuff. Um, especially, you know, big alien machinery and big alien stuff like that, ships and motherships and all that stuff can get extremely expensive. So that's why I was kind of thinking right off the bat that, oh, I don't know, I don't know if I'm going to like this. Um, but the aliens look pretty good. Um, they do, they look pretty good. You know, I like the uh, the skitters where they have all the different legs and they're kind of like spiders with an upper body torso. Uh, looks more humanoid as, and a face that's very reptilian, covered in like a reptilian skin type tissue. Um, and, you know, they're pretty cool just to start with. They're kind of, you know, kind of scary, kind of frightening, uh, which is a good thing because you want to have that, you know, for the, for the you know, thrilling factor of it. Uh, as well as I like the, um, the uh, neck uh, attachment things that they use to control people when they use uh, their little, uh, you know, they put those, uh, like, neck, they look like caterpillar type things on them and control them that way. Um, and, and, you know, I like that too. That's really cool. Um, my favorite part so far in the episodes that I've seen is uh, in episode two, when they meet another group, uh, of survivors that basically the leader is, um, uh, I don't want to say he's, he's evil, but he, um, he wants what they have. So he wants their, uh, their 50 caliber, you know, gun and all this different stuff. And he just has fun killing the aliens and that's it. And he's actually an interesting character because, uh, I think his name is Pope and he's, he's talking about how he likes it better now that there's an alien invasion than, than back before because he, he was like this cook in prison, that kind of stuff. So he's an interesting character. Uh, the main character, Tom, I think is uh, is very interesting because he has, you know, um, his part of his family still left there with his son who is uh, heavily involved in the in the show as well. And another son who has, um, who's basically been turned into an alien drone, uh, Ben. Uh, so, so they're all, you know, that's all cool right there. Um, yeah, I like all of that. I like the action sequences in the show. The environment looks really good, and the CG is not bad. You know, the aliens, you know, they don't look too out of place. It's not terrible. You know, it looks it looks decent, uh, believable, uh, as well as their their mechs uh, and stuff like that, and their ships in there. I like the the scenes where you get to kind of zoom up and see uh, their whole I don't know what you want to call it, like a station type thing that they've set up there. Uh, the aliens, so. I like also that it kind of gives us a different perspective on the on an apocalypse situation where you have like, you know, in that type of apocalypse situation with an alien invasion, um, the average Joe is not going to be able to survive. So it's as simple as that, or almost not not be able to at all. Um, you'll have small little groups here and there of survivors, but most of them will just be hiding, trying to survive. Uh, I like that in this story we follow like a military group, uh, so to speak, or at least one that's under the chain of command of the military. And they have like their fighters with, you know, all kinds of different, you know, guns and, uh, you know, military weaponry. And, uh, yeah, it just makes for a really good show. I think anytime you have that kind of uh, story and you have good characters, everything works out. So, so far, I really like it. Like I said, I've only watched about three and a half episodes of it. Um, but I'm definitely going to watch the rest and I will be picking it up and starting to review it this uh sunday night late sunday night because i got to work sunday so uh, i'll watch it after work and review it probably at about 2 or 3 a.m post review then so for most of you it'd be monday so anybody who's interested in falling skies um i i recommend it 
Um, let, let me talk about the Fox real quick. Um, so there's one thing that kind of irritates me about the show, and it's the score, the music. I think the music is over too over dramatic. I think it's too loud a lot of times, and it kind of takes me away from the experience because it just feels too phony. Uh, the second thing is the acting is not the greatest. Uh, you know, some of the characters and stuff, and and the acting is not perfect. It's not the best by any means, but it's good. I think it's good enough, and I think it gets probably gets better as as the characters, you know. Uh, the actors get set in their roles as their characters and stuff. Because in the first episode, it wasn't that good. But in the second episode and third, I felt like it was getting better. So I'm sure it probably gets better from there. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's a really good show. Other than the score, you know, everything else seems to be good to me. Um, it's interesting, and, uh, you know, I enjoy it quite a bit. So this Sunday it'll start, uh, and I'll be doing reviews for every episode of Season 2, as well as probably go back and do an overall review of what I think of Season 1. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video, guys. Overall, I'm going to give the uh, just the show generally, the idea of the show, a 9 out of 10. I think it's really good. It's not perfect, because, like I said, the score and the acting is not the greatest, but it's really good for what we normally see on television. The environments look great. The aliens are really cool. Uh, the characters are really good, well-written. And everything's really interesting. So if you haven't seen Fallen Skies yet, you may want to check it out before Sunday and then hop on board and, uh, you know, start watching Season 2 when it comes out. And then watch my reviews if you're interested. Later, guys. Peace.